So, this is Alex Chu. Coming at you with another episode. This episode, just wanna I talk talk about uh, mystical and and drug war, you know. And I think that United States should really we should just legalize drugs, you know, um, in order to get rid of all the drug cartels. But before I talk about that, I want to tell you, my name is Alex Chu. I'm the guy who invented physical mortality rings. These are rings that you put on your small fingers, drink, sleep, you wear them, you don't age anymore. You become physically immortal. For example, I'm already 50, right? And in half a year, I'll be 51. And you can tell, I'm still very thin, right? Don't have any wrinkles on my belly or anything. My belly is really smooth. That means I never work out. Um... If you go to my website, livemuchlonger.com, you can see lots of te testimonials from Amazon customers. Most of them give me four stars or five stars. So if you want to live forever, livemuchlonger.com, livemuchlonger.com. Link is at the bottom of this video. But anyway, uh, I see Biden is... Uh, Kamala Harris just went to Mexico today, right? I think it was today. She's at Mexico, you know. I saw her making a speech. Don't come, don't come. But then... You know, it's like, she's so fake, you know, she's so sarcastic, and so, she's like, don't come, don't come, but then she never say anything like, if you come, we're going to arrest you, we're going to put you in jail, no, she doesn't say anything like that, you know, she's just like, don't come, don't come, yeah, yeah, <laughs> don't come, don't come, and people still, Camilla Harris is at Mexico today, you know, speaking to a Mexican president, but honestly speaking, Mexico is... The, the government is sort of fake. I mean, the government, yeah, the government does exist, but then most of most of the cities in Mexico, you know, most cities, mo most villages are being controlled by cartels. You know, in Mexico, you you don't pay tax to the government; you pay tax to the cartels. You know, like if you live in a village or if you li live on a certain, if you own a store at a certain street, right? You have to pay protection money to the cartels. You know. It's like in, in almost, yeah, in every city, you have to pay tax to the cartels. So, Mexico, it's not really, it's not con gun govern, govern, it's not controlled by the government itself. Mexico is controlled by different cartels, you know, depending on the territory. So, Guatemala is, Guatemala is the same thing. Or Honduras is the same thing, you know? It's like these people from, from, uh, you know, Central America, no wonder why every one of them want to come to the United States. You know, even if you do have a job in Mexico, let's say you do have, you do have, a, you do have work, you do have food to eat, but then you don't feel safe, you know? It's like because everything is controlled by cartels. You have to pay, you have to pay uh, protection, but you have to pay tax to the cartel, you know? And, and, and in Mexico, it's like this. If you buy a Especially foreigners, if you buy a house, right, you buy a house today, and you pay off the house, right, that you pay off all the mortgage, guess what? In, 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 a year or two years later, it doesn't belong to you anymore. For some reason, somebody stole it. Somebody stole your house. I'm not joking. Somebody could steal your deeds, you know, for some reason, like, you're paying, you're paying for this house, right? You're paying mortgage for this house, right? After you pay off, Fuck, you found out that the, the house doesn't even belong to you anymore. You know? Like, if you take a trip, right? You leave your house empty. And then you come back from the trip. The, somebody's living inside your fucking house. You don't even own the house anymore. The deeds, the name, your, your name is being erased. Yeah, mystical is like that, you know? So it's like, depending on, I don't know, depending on your luck. You know, if you're lucky, you, you, the, the, you're, nobody will steal your house. But if you're unlucky, you know? The government polit politician or some some government official would, would steal your house, you know, for some reason, fuck up your deeds so your, you know, house doesn't belong to you anymore. But in Mexico, it's like, yeah, I, I think Biden is allowing everyone to come in from Mexico, from Honduras. This is a very dangerous thing, you know. I think... Based on my dream, right? This year is okay. 2020, 2021 is it's okay, but next year it's start it's gonna start to get violent. 
2022, it's going to start to get violent, you know. 2023, there's going to be a civil war in the United States. I think, I think honestly speaking, you know, we should just legalize all the drugs. When, when we legalize all the drugs, and government also produce drugs, for example, right now it, on the streets, right, you can buy one pack of fentanyl for $10, right? One small pack of fentanyl for $10. And it's not regulated, too. You know, you could you buy a pack of fentanyl, it could kill you, you know, you, because you don't know what's inside. You, every every man, every one, every drug dealers, they're selling fentanyl from different manufacturers, you know. In the future, government should also sell fentanyl or sell cocaine, heroin, whatever. Government should also sell it, and then government regulate it, you know. Put a label on the fentanyl telling you, you know, what's the concentration of this fentanyl, you know, stuff like that. And then sell it really, really cheap. Government also s produce it, right, and then sell it for like 50 cents, 60 cents. So in the future, everyone can buy fentanyl. Anybody can buy fentanyl for like under a dollar, you know, one, one pack of fentanyl for under a dollar. You know, one pack of cocaine for under two dollars or something like that. If governments sell it really cheap right there is no more competition you know what I'm saying I mean it's not profitable to make this stuff anymore and it, when it's not profitable all the drug dealers they, they they disappear right cartels they disappear you know in ancient China right in, in ancient China they you know back in in uh, back in the days in Ming Dynasty you know tea Tea was actually illegal in, in Ming Dynasty. I mean, it's see, government owns the owns the right to buy and sell tea. But if you want to sell your own tea, that's considered smuggling. You know, tea was made illegal. It's like only the government can buy and sell tea. In, in, in Ming Dynasty, it was like that. Only the government can buy and sell tea. And therefore, back in the days, there's a lot of cartels, tea cartel. Can you imagine that tea cartel? People are selling, selling tea in order to buy buy horses. You know, it's it's a so in, in Ming Dynasty it became a huge problem. You know, it's a cartel of you know people exchanging tea for horses. You know, and a lot of uh, uh, a lot of Ming Dynasties, you know, border bordering countries, right? They buy horses from the Ming Dynasty. You know. They they trade some they they use money to buy tea and then they use use tea to buy horses, and then they imp smuggle horses out of the Ming Dynasty. So other countries, you know, the the surrounding country of the Ming Dynasty, they grew stronger and then they end up uh, challenging the Ming Dynasty militarily, challenge the Ming, the Ming Dynasty. So it became a huge problem, you know, and eventually the the emperor Ming Dynasty emperor realized the problem. He got rid of this this uh, you know tea um, monopoly. You know now er everybody can sell tea, and in Qing Dynasty was different. Everyone can sell tea, and problem disappear. In Qing Dynasty, right, the salt was illegal. Buying and selling salt is illegal. Only government can buy and sell salt. Salt, you know, like table salt. Everybody uses salt, right? In in Qing Dynasty, tea, salt was illegal. Only government has the right to buy and sell salt, and then, then you know what happened. There's gonna there's salt cartel, you know, in China salt, uh, Qing Dynasty salt cartel. Those cartels are very very strong. They they were very brutal people, you know. They they kidnap people, they they kill people, and also it's just like just like modern days uh, drug cartel. In Qing Dynasty, they have salt cartel. Can you imagine that? And also in you know opium war right in China they and then they they start to ban opium. I think the Chinese people invented this cartel stuff, you know, because you know only you know back in the days only Qing Dynasty, Ming Dynasty they they have these cartels, you know, salt cartel, uh, tea cartel, whatever, you know, and then uh, they ban opium, you know. I think actually we just legalize it. We should just legalize uh, drugs, you know, and then government also produce drugs. I mean, very very cheaply, you know. They they produce the drugs so cheap, so 
you could buy one pack of cocaine or one pack of fentanyl for a few cents, then who the fuck is going to make it? Who the fuck is going to... The cartel will simply disappear, right? It's not like, hey, you know, if government don't make this shit, right? If government don't legalize this shit, no one's going to use it anymore. No. People are still going to use it. People are still going to use drugs. You know? I mean, it's not like, oh, if you if we ban drugs, make it illegal, all the drugs is going to disappear. No, it'll never disappear. 1,000 years from now, people still use drugs. 10,000 years from now, people still use drugs. It's not like you just make it illegal and everything is going to disappear. No, we should just we should make it legal and then government also produce it, you know, to make it really, really cheap. And then the drug cartels, they will disappear. For, for example, right now, in China, there's no tea cartel, right? There's no people killing each other for tea anymore, right? There's no salt cartel. People kidnapping each other for salt, right? No. Once, the, once they get rid of that, that stupid uh, policy, all these cartels will simply, they, they would vanish. They would just disappear, you know? But anyway, that's what I want to say for this episode. Uh, if you like my channel, please subscribe. I'll talk to you later.